Uh-oh. Good morning, everyone. 23 degrees out there. Quite cold. Bundle up for sure today. Hopefully things will warm up after today, though. We'll talk more in just a moment. Hey, shut up. I'm, all, I, I'm still reading about Bama doing a beatdown on LSU. Woo roll tide. Whoa, roll tide. Woo! I mean, hey, we kicked y'all's tail for three quarters. I don't know where are you getting at. I, no, mean, I don't it understand. Never happened. Where are you getting that? It yeah, was a beat down from the get go. And let me just play. give this first. Shut up! A shout out to shut up in my chair this morning, trying to take over a fill in. Hey, good morning. Uh, good morning, I'm Jamie Cooper. Thank y'all for getting up with us on this great looking cold Thursday morning. I might even ride a motorcycle out in the parking lot this morning. That's how good I feel right now. This is Athens in the AM on this cold Thursday morning. As always, on Thursdays, every day of the week, hometown uh, market sponsors the kitchen segment here. Don't forget, we'll show you their specials coming up in just a moment, too, each and every week. Five locations to serve you Florence, Harsel, two in Athens and one indicator. Sports director Zach in here this morning. Bama Zach, roll tide, buddy. Roll tide, brother. Yeah, Frank's on the phone. We got a lot of stuff going on. We're going to talk about several things going on today, so y'all stay tuned for that. So we'll get everything cranking in just a moment. Try to catch up on the video if we have a little bit of time. Beep, beep, Roadrunner Danny Johnson. I got beep, a piece, too, on the Wounded Warriors thing going on down at uh, the river over the weekend. We'll have some of that. Anyway, thank y'all for getting up with us. As you know, it's going to be a shout-out to shut up this morning. LSU went down over the weekend big time. War Eagle. War Eagle, baby. Yeah, I got you, War Eagle. <laughs> I am predicting Georgia to beat Auburn this weekend by seven points. Ooh. Oh, boy. Somehow I'm thinking it's going to be like 27-20. Not near as high scoring as most people think. Making friends everywhere. See, if Auburn gets beat, that eases the pain. Should the mighty tide lose an Iron Bowl? We're going to start having technical difficulties from Brad. Of if what? they beat us, they deserve to go. That's the way I look. Anybody beat us? Well, we know y'all didn't. We sure did. Oh, we got a lot of things <laughs> to talk about this morning. Here's Gloria with a cold weather forecast, but it's going to get better. It's going to be a beautiful weekend, ain't it? That's right, it is. I can't wait until that weekend because 23 degrees out there right now. Bundle up on your way out the door. Let's see what temperatures are going to rise to today. We are going to see some sunshine, and we don't have any rain to worry about, which is a good thing, but definitely that wind is going to make things feel a little bit colder. Outside today, high temperatures of 58, maybe 59 degrees. Tomorrow, the temperatures of 61 with a low of 48, partly cloudy skies. We we're saying, that's Donnie, we were saying a little rain on Friday, but it looks like we'll be a okay. Look at the week. Weekend forecast. We're going to see temperatures beautiful on Saturday, 71 for that high. It looks like there's only a very slight chance of rain on Friday. Now let me introduce you to Sai. He is a <laughs> nine-month-old baby CK registered American bully. Is that Daniel's dog? It is, and you can check him out on website. We've got another photo too, and I want to say special good morning to Alan okay. James, BMD bullies, of course. He'll be watching. How many dogs has he got? Too. A bunch of them. Now, so if you're looking for a dog, let him. No, that's not animal cruelty. That's roll tide roll. <laughs> oh my God! Isn't that cute? Hey, I hope y'all Bama fans. If you're not, you're in the no. wrong freaking place. She's shaking her head okay. now. <laughs> you can say what. All right, Jack, what's up? Nothing, Jack. How you doing, brother? Got a special oh, email for you this morning. Uh oh. <laughs> Your favorite fan, Carolyn Alexander, oh, over in Kentucky, Carolyn. Alabama. Carolyn loves me. Hello, Jamie. That'd be me. <laughs> and Gloria, that'd be her. Roll tide. Go tag. Did we whip LSU's blank de blank blank or what? <laughs> I love it. Tell shut up. Not worry. LSU uh, still gets to play in a bowl game this year, the Commode Bowl. <laughs> <clears throat> I am about to get used to the show the coming Kimode on at bowl. six, the replay in the evening, but I mean, don't mean I like it. Sorry. Love girl. you both. Keep up the good work. Before I forget it, how's Tom? Tom McAllister giving you a shout out this morning. Man. See y'all. Love Carolyn again. Roll Tide. Thanks, Carolyn. <laughs> I love you too, baby. And she really thanks the world to you, Donnie. I That's bet she you. does. Yeah. That's Most, you, Carolyn. You know. Be nice. Women love me. Guys want to beat me. Yeah, they sure do. <laughs> I mean, that what was happening you in your for? world? Ah, uh, nothing, man. We huh? ended up Florida more Friday night. How's that Weight Watchers working out for you? I, I've lost a little weight. I can tell the difference in my pants. So I, I weigh in today. We'll find out. Why didn't you go with Dieter's Delight? Guaranteed weight loss, success. I, I said if y'all could have worked out a deal, soccer. me and Brad would have had well, an Alabama Auburn challenge. Did you get a workout deal? Did the uh, Weight Watchers give you a deal? Yeah, I mean, yeah, we yeah, did a deal. Okay, like, I bet. Yeah, hey, okay. Uh, yeah, they are. They they paid for half of it. They had trans paying for half of it. Oh, really? Yeah. So so I got, hey, you gonna be watching Victoria's Secrets Angels? They strut on cloud nine last night. They taped the show. Yes. 
That bra she's wearing right there, that red one in the right hand corner. How many million? Ten thousand dollars. Oh, ten thousand. Huh? That's no, it. No, wait a minute, I was wrong. Ten yeah. million dollars. That's what I thought. It's oh. a ten million dollar <laughs> fantasy bra. Uh, that's a yeah. fantasy, all right. Now, I don't know. Made out of diamonds. What do you think, Zach? That looks like some nice hooters to me. What about you? Huh? Yeah, I'm now not behave. Gonna... There's I'm children in the studio. I don't care. Ten million dollars for bras is a lot of money. <laughs> That's crazy. Now crazy. that's in your class. I know we know you make a lot of money. I'd shoot, not huh? me. I wish I made. That, that you watch the show when it comes on. Stuff. The I show, probably. wait a minute. The show comes on in December. The show is about long legs, amazing body, and sexy lingerie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter with that? It's about the culture of how they walk down the catwalk. Okay, y'all with me on that? College football. Yeah, you got to train to walk like that. Huh? You have to train to walk like that. I can walk like that. <laughs> yeah, okay, but no one wants to see you walk like that. <laughs> No. All right, Zach, what you got? Carolina. You like me? Oh, let's talk about it. First and foremost, let's talk about Jameis Winston. It going to prison. Oh, well, he ain't famous going to no prison. No. <laughs> Jameis, famous Jameis is going to prison before the national championship game. Zach, you got that? Said, uh, said police contact, uh, he, it was a sexual assault complaint filed the Tallahassee Police Department December 2012. <laughs> said the uh, Winston's attorney said police contacted him in February 2013, but no... Charges were filed, and he was never interviewed by police. Is he he going was to closed or what? in February, and that's been handed over to the state attorney. Maybe. And they say Florida State's aware of it, and they're keeping Bryce, you know, they're keeping, you know, information on the what's going on. But as of right now, he's, he's still playing. He hasn't been charged with anything. If his charge so. is going to be after the national championship. All right, let me change subject. <laughs> what happened to LSU Tigers Saturday? Well, I don't know what happened in the fourth quarter. I think Zach Now, where are you getting y'all won three quarters of football? Look, the first half, we just, and Saban even well, said it. Let's hear this. I don't, the first half, Saban hear said. Hell, tell me what no, you told me. The first half, Saban said, we can't control the line. They're beating us up front. Now, and he, we were. And, and we, I mean, when you look but, at the yardage, the first half, we absolutely dominated. Now, that everybody game. remember. It don't matter who's behind Shut up, Donna Holster. Not necessarily those <laughs> shared with management <laughs> or anybody <laughs> related to me on the program. I, well, I listened to, I listened to Eli. And, and Phil Savage on the radio, Coach Savage said, we got to get off the field. I mean, they were five for six on third down conversions. Hey, time. Fourth, and, 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 and second half, y'all beat our tails. But I'm going to tell you. That's when you win the game. again, what? Second half, y'all beat our tails. Roll, roll, tide, roll baby. tide, roll. Okay, roll, guys, roll. we'll get that clear. I mean, hey, of course. But who predicted them at the very beginning of the season before <laughs> football started? Said Nash, I said Alabama win another national title. Well, I'm always there right. There you are right there. I'm coach always Saban. right. There you are with Coach Saban right there. Yeah, me and Coach. Let me, let me tell you, Jamie, you know everybody, the fake punt was great play, but still, Tanae Patrick from North Jackson, oh, yeah. been there five years, hadn't done a thing. He made the play of his life when he stripped yep. that ball. Because if he'd scored, Copeland would score. That'd been a lot different story. That's a big dude. Well, see, now the other problem. Dude, they didn't bring Copeland back in after that fumble. And I'm like, anymore? no. And that's what ticked me off. I thought, okay, he's our best blocking back, and y'all don't bring him in. Well, right. whatever. Connor Neighbors got a lot of playing yes, time. Yes, he did. Yeah, he was out there a lot. I didn't realize he was already a senior either. I, I thought he was a junior. I, I, thought, senior. I thought he was a junior, okay. too. He was a senior. I have to ask Wes. But. What about the little boy up at, not little boy, but the kid up at Ohio State? I saw that interview yesterday saying that they would wipe take the field of Ohio State. Urban Meyer didn't like it, too. Well, take that was up, kind of a, take it he didn't context. actually say it like that. If you see the whole interview, yeah, he he's kind of, no, he wasn't being, well, we're going to beat him. You know, we wipe the full up. He didn't really say it like that. Yeah, he said he was being biased. He was being biased. Zach, have you ever in your life had a slip of the tongue and said something? Something they didn't actually mean it that way. Now, yes. me, I never have. About 15 I minutes ago, I mean it. What? I think everybody has. And <laughs> yes. no, I mean, I don't think everybody, don't put me in that group. If yeah, I say I it, I mean it. What? You well, I think we all had, you know, said some things that we were Like what? What you said, Zach? And you always, and you always, yeah. you hope and pray you get the opportunity to, to fix it. And sometimes you do. Sometimes you do get that opportunity. All right, Zach, what else you got in sports? Well, well like let's talk I said, baseball. Because, uh, I mean, let's talk basketball. Football uh, season's over with for me. Good luck to Coach Creasy and Athens Go News Friday night. They get to host her first. Let's Donnie was at that game six. the other night. I'm going to be at this one in cold weather. I'm going I'm to take my uh, heater. <laughs> you got They're predicting uh, the fairness predictions in the paper this morning. Predicting uh, Athens 17, Pleasant Grove 13, Tanner 35, North Sand Mountain 14. But uh, Brian McGrady, I know his uh, mama and know his uncle that 
kick to win field goal and the holder. With five uh, seconds left. I know a lot of those kids up there. So, uh, so it, it was it worked out real good. And, and good luck to them tonight, uh, Friday night. They'll play center point. Uh, Tanner gets to host North Sand Mountain. A lot of times you don't get to host two games in a row. But uh, I talked to Coach Green from Tanner the other day, and he said they had, they got the opportunity. And uh, Faultful, who we've had up there before, they, they'll play. They get to host Hubertville. Hey, speaking of Faultful, do you you know the coach over there? He was up here the other day, Clint. Uh, congratulations on a great season. Unfortunately, you lost one there in the playoffs. But, uh, Hi, Maddie. I like the way you do your hair before you come up on the show, too. I mean, it looks really good. I mean, it looks really good. And so, he fixes it up. But the, you know what? Coach Godsey allowed them to come down and practice in Falkville's, I mean, in Hartzell's uh, state of the art facility this nice. week during the cold weather. Awesome. Yeah, Good. so they did over there. They're, they're scheduled to win. It will be. Let me, and I've got a stat on that. Let me tell you right here what that stat is. It'll be the first time. Fallville 91 holds, uh, what did you say, Hubertville? Hubertville. Second Hubertville. round? Hubertville. Hubertville. Hubertville, okay. Yeah, my mom Zach killed me. Yeah, my mom was from down that way. She oh, killed me if we pronounced it wrong. This will be the first, <laughs> if they win, it'll be the first 10 games in a season since 1924 for the Fallville Blue Devils. They'll win. And then next week they'll play R.A. Hubbard, which Ooh. will be a huge game. Mm. Yeah, R.A. Hubbard. That's... Can I say one thing about you brought up, Clint brought up his mama, Big M. She's not a big fan of shut up, too. She's, oh, she, she loves, loves me. She, she loves, loves me. She said, you need to hey, shut up, shut up. Hey, here's what I want him to say. Alabama dominated us in the second half. He said, no, he's he said the second half. See, he he said, said that they won the first three quarters. We won the first half. I don't know what game first he half, was. The first half and was then, And then when we came out the beginning of the third quarter, what did we do? Marched all the way down the field, kicked the field goal, tied it up. You showed up the first half. Yeah. Well, we beat the first half. <laughs> it's just a, I don't count, though. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately, they played <laughs> two halves. The the end. I know. It's like last year when we dominated the whole game and we still lost. But, oh, well. That's it right. is what it is, and I can move on to basketball and baseball. Right, let me get y'all's opinion. Women's volleyball. The number one defensive recruit in the nation today announces his decision where he's going. Alabama, Michigan, or Florida? Where Michigan. is he going to be, boys? Probably Michigan. Michigan. This, think Michigan. Michigan. I'm saying Bama and an upset. It'd be an upset right now. He's, we're up on a lot of defensive Maddie's guys, there. but I think he will probably end up in. He wants to play in that cold weather. Let him do it. We got a guy who rode a freaking motorcycle in I here know this it. morning. 20 degrees I know it's outside. Hey, that's my hand right there. Huh? Woo. His fingers I are no way. Numb. All right, in just a second, we're going to talk about the big game this weekend. But go ahead and fill me in on some other stuff right quick. Well, yeah, we got Alabama Mississippi State will be at 645. But you got Auburn and Georgia. That'll be the big one, 230 <laughs> CBS. We're going to get our opinions on that uh, in just a moment. Then tonight, Thursday night football, a lot of Tennessee Titans fans out there get to see Trent Richardson and the Indianapolis coach. <laughs> Trent has not done a thing since he's been there. So maybe he's got like three women, game. don't he? Didn't he have like a video with three women or something? That, that's a rumor going around. So that's awesome. And don't yeah. tell me <laughs> <laughs> Your wife watching this show. I know. <laughs> hey, so, I got an extra room with the house. Don't worry. Hey, the big, so. the big game in the NFL this weekend, Peyton Manning, and their one loss, uh, Denver Broncos get to host the Kansas City Chiefs. That undefeated. Denver's winning that game. And then Monday night, you got the New England Patriots against Carolina. Hey, while we're talking about uh, pro, <laughs> let's talk about the article this morning on the Dallas Cowboys, America's. Hmm. Not America's team anymore, America's T's. You know what their record is right now? Oh, it's no. 1997. It's 1997. Saints beat the crap out of them. 133 wins, 133 losses. <laughs> you, know, you know who I blame on that, Jamie? <laughs> Jerry Jones. Absolutely. He had Jimmy Johnson, who's Clint's a big fan of Jimmy Johnson. Best he had ever. one of the best coaches out there, and he basically runs him off. And now all he's got Jason Garrett, who is yes, man. He'll do whatever. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How many he playoff did. games have they won in 15 years? One. Very good, Zach. You win the prize for today. I'm a Cowboys fan. I know. I am too. Terrible. I would give you a pizza, but I ain't heard from Zeke. <laughs> <laughs> so, you either. So, uh, so, uh, I miss so Zeke. I, I mean, you just – Jerry Jones – Run the team, but let somebody coach it and be a general manager that knows what they're doing. And the last question before I go to my first break on this Thursday morning edition, which is mainly sports. we got some other folks in there, too. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. Will A.J. win the Heisman? No. 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 They're not, they're yes. not going to let him win it. Because, no, because, you know, but he it's needs, a one but I think he'll make it to New York. If famous Jameis gets arrested, he moves up a slot. Yeah, well, he'll be fourth then. I don't think he'll be arrested, though. No. All right, let me take my first break today. Don't forget I told you about... Uh, Hometown Market. Hometown Market, that's don't right. Those Their specials. new specials are out each and every Wednesday. You hear them here first, and you can get them in the newspapers later that day if you still read a paper. 
I'm about to be hungry and good. <laughs> there they are right now. Let's take our first break of the day. Y'all hang on. Go Tigers.